Welcome back in this morning. It is springtime and within a couple weeks we're going to be talking Easter. That means Easter eggs at the Imagination Station downtown Toledo. You can take part in egg stream science. You get it? Kristen joins us this morning with not eggs, but with bubbles this morning. Definitely, and not any bubbles. It's a combustible bubble concoction we're going to have going on, Chris. But we got to warm you up, right? It's combustion. All right. So, Hopefully not literally speaking. Let's just kind of get me a little bit into the science of I this, right? Not. Things go horribly <laughs> awry if that happened. But we're trained scientists, right? Yes. So first of all, I have my balloon filled with pure oxygen gas. Okay. Now, pure oxygen is definitely a component of combustion. Oxygen is one of the parts that we need. Right. So I have my fire right here. And I'm actually going to set fire to my oxygen gas balloon. Okay. In three, two, one. So did anything exciting happen? A little loud noise, kind of like just popping a balloon, regular I know. Balloon. That's because that's only one of the components we need for combustion. Along <laughs> with the flame, that's two, we need three things. Okay. We need flame, fuel, and oxygen. Okay. So over there floating, we have hydrogen, which is a very good fuel. So I'm going to give this to you, and I'm going to light your fire, so to speak. And why don't you take a step back and then we'll do a countdown from three and then I want you to poke that balloon, that good fuel balloon. Okay. In three, two, one. Yes. <laughs> so did you notice a difference there? You bet I did. <laughs> yes. So we definitely had all three elements of combustion. We had our hydrogen, so our fuel. That was the major difference there. And then, of course, we have oxygen in the air around us. The air around us is about 20% oxygen. And yes, we had that fire. I like the blowing at the candle, too. That was a nice touch. A little good touch for us. I know. So the reaction we had right there was something called a deflagration combustion reaction, where it happens slower than the speed of sound. because. Our hydrogen needs time to mix with the oxygen air around it. So if we were to see that in slow motion, we'd see the fire peeling the balloon away, and then there's a moment where the oxygen gas and the hydrogen gas kind of diffuse, and then we have our combustion. Very cool. I know. Opposite is detonation, where that happens faster than the speed of sound. Do you want to see that? Yes, I'd love right. to. All right, perfect. So what I want you to do is we'll put this to the side, and ear muff up, save your earsies, because this is gonna be loud, right? Even louder than before. So I'm gonna put like this the sound to the of side. this. I know. I'm gonna ear muff up myself. Fantastic. Ooh, there we go. And now in here, I have hydrogen and oxygen gas together. So they're all right in there. They don't need to diffuse. Now, first things first, I'm gonna keep your hands nice and safe. What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I can hear you. Oh boy, who's on first? So go ahead and roll up your sleeves just a little bit. And this is water and dish soap. So go ahead and put your hands in there. Kind of give yourself a little bit of a bath. Just up to your wrists, okay. things like that, because we want to keep your hands safe. I'm standing by with my hydrogen oxygen balloon, which is two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. All right, so that should do the trick. I see some bubbles, Chris. Why don't you just do a quick dip so we don't have... No bubbles. No bubbles, except the bubbles I'm going to make. All right, okay. so I'm going to make these bubbles. Now, this detonation reaction, I'm going to open up my valve here, which is going to happen faster than the speed of sound is one of my favorite kinds of combustion. It's called the green explosion. And the green explosion actually is called so because unlike other kinds of combustion where you get byproducts like carbon, things like that, all this has is a massive amount of energy along with water, a little bit of water. So that's why we call it our green explosion. So I'm making a lot of bubbles and there we go, making bubbles here. I think that this is a good amount. I'm gonna shut off my gauge, and here we go. Chris, what I want you to do is scoop up as many bubbles as you can, and hold them nice and flat in your hand, just like that. I'm gonna come at you with a match. <laughs> in three, two, <laughs> You can take your earmuffs off now. I have towels for you too, so you can wipe off your hands. So you just held combustion in your hands. And if you notice here, all of our bubbles are gone. Are you okay? You have to change my pants after that one too. <laughs> Woo! Well, we have extra towels if you need okay. them. But all of those bubbles are gone now, right? And it wasn't because they ignited. It's because that force of that detonation actually popped all of our bubbles. Woo! I felt a, 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 a a gust of wind, I think, I coming know. right at me. So I'm going to move this out of the way. We actually have a little bit more pleasant and relaxing form of combustion here. 
candles in a cake. And <laughs> you may ask, why are there candles in a cake? Well, this is your cake, Chris, because Imagination Station has been coming here since we were open in 2009, and we've been so happy to see you. This is your hundredth time of doing a new segment How about us. that? I know. I'm going to try and light my candles like I that. I didn't even know that. Uh, you know what? Uh, not surprised that you guys have been there faithfully to kind of come out and help us yeah. with science experience. I'm surprised you've put up with me. I don't know. We're for so, so lucky. For so long. Are you we just had you hold a detonation reaction. You put up with us. All right. I know. Excellent. Well, congratulations to you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Imagination Station. Uh, what's going on with you guys? Too? Oh, of course. You mentioned egg stream science. That starts this Saturday. Tons of eggs, a bunch of science you can learn with it. Plus, we're not normally open on Mondays, but this Monday, the 31st, we are open in time for spring break. Perfect. I am. Sounds good. Appreciate that. We will be right back. Stay with us.